Namaste, beautiful people. Welcome to AM Yoga Moves. My name is Anne-Marie, and in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about the Yama Ahimsa, which is the very first uh, Yama or ethical pr principle of the Yama and Niyama, uh, as described by Patanjali in the Yoga Sutras. If you need a little bit of background information on that, I invite you to go check out my first video on um, the fundamentals of Yama and Niyama so that you can just get a little bit more insight as to what we're talking about here. So the very first principle, the very first ethical principle as a yoga practitioner is ahimsa. Ahimsa means non-violence. And, you know, it's not, it's, it's the very first principle for, for obvious reasons because that is, you know, a very basic, point from which to start in any spiritual practice and a basic principle of life even. And however simple and basic it may seem, um, when you start to really think about it and dive down into it, we, we realize that there's several layers to this uh, principle of ahimsa, which we don't always necessarily pay attention to. And through these moments like these ones where we're talking about it here in this video uh, can maybe sort of allow us to revisit that and um, reassess <laughs> where we're at, okay? So on a very basic level, ah ahimsa is non-violence in our actions, in our behaviors. Uh, this also includes the our tone of voice, for example, uh, uh, you may know somebody that is passive aggressive. Well, that is also <laughs> considered violence. Okay, you know it's not only we don't want to yell at people, but you know sometimes we're not yelling, but the way that we're saying things is also violent. Not being disrespectful, not causing any harm to people around us. So that is the basic level of things that we tend to think about first. However. Um, this principle of nonviolence is also um, inevitably tied to our own selves, okay? And we tend to kind of overlook that. So I realized this for me was a huge realization in my yoga practice. At one point, a year into going to a sauna class, the teacher was sort of uh, saying, you know, check out you know, your internal discourse, how you're talking to yourself as you're moving through these postures. And I really realized that I was being super hard on myself. You know, I was just pushing myself. And if I wasn't able to achieve a posture, if I was losing balance, I was sort of calling myself all these names and realized at that point that, hey, you know, <laughs> this is really aggressive. I'm aggressing, aggressive towards myself. So um, to check out, you know, at any point in the day, how many violent thoughts do you have about yourself? Are you kind of um, going down on yourself really hard and judging what you say and what you do? And that is violence, definitely. So not only do we not want to be criticizing others, but we want to also be non-critical towards ourselves, non-violent towards ourselves. If we move down a little further into these layers of ahimsa, we may look at also our life habits, uh, namely what we consume, what we buy. Uh, am I buying something, a piece of clothing, for example, that I know was made in a sweatshop? I'm buying it because it's cheap, but I know that it was it comes from a place of where people are being abused, you know, to make this this piece of garment. Um, and am I consuming foods as well that, uh, for example, that's why a lot of yoga practitioners are vegetarian or for those that do eat meat, you know, tend to really want to make sure that what they're buying, they know exactly where it's from and how that animal was raised. So not only are we encouraging a violent behavior by consuming, by buying these things, but also on an energetic field, you know, you're, you're putting into your body 
something that has had a very horrible life. And that is not good. That is violence. That's perpetuating the violence. Okay? Um, so, so that is a more subtle plane. If I think about what is the opposite of violence, well, the opposite of violence is, is love and self-care and compassion. And if we really think about it, we cannot give to another person what we do not have, first of all. And that is just such a, it feels as though maybe less and less, but we look at our, I look at sometimes my parents or people of older age, physical age, where um, the idea was, you know, to be selfless in life and to sort of just give, give, give. And that is very good. We need to be selfless, but not to the point where we are forgetting ourselves. And I don't think that we necessarily learn that as a child, but it is so, so very important to sort of give ourselves that love and that care and that compassion and that selflessness to ourselves, okay? And we're gonna talk about in one of the next tutorials about, hey, you know, knowing when that's too much, right? Without being greedy, okay? So we're gonna talk about that in another uh, yama, in another video, but for now, just to, to, to really practice, to talk to yourself in a loving way, Treat yourself nicely, be loving, be kind to yourself. And then you'll notice that it's gonna be so much easier to sort of have that same compassion and openness when you see others around you, even if they don't have the same values as you, they don't look at certain issues the same way, to practice just being open and being loving. And so, in our asana class that is going to be uh, based on this yama ahimsa, um, we are going to be focusing on the heart chakra, anahat chakra, uh, which is associated to the color green. And we're going to be doing a lot of heart opening postures and uh, opening the front of the heart and as well as the back of the heart. So between our two shoulder blades, we're going to be working on postures involving those areas. Um, the mudra that is associated with nonviolence is the Padma or the Lotus Mudra. Okay, so this here. And these mudras are very important um, because they also connect to certain parts of the brain associated with dexterity um, and also they are a key component of the yoga practice, the mudras. So this is the Padma Mudra. So um, I think that for nonviolence that pretty much sums it up. Uh, I guess the, the message that, uh, that is the most important to retain in all of this is love yourself, be gentle with yourself, don't overdo things don't underdo them either right because you know if you're overdoing something especially in asana practice since we're talking about that if i'm overdoing a posture i might injure myself which is violence right if i underdo it if i have life habits or even in asana practice if i'm not if i'm holding back and i'm just not doing it to the full potential of what my body will allow and what i'm ready to do i'm not getting the benefits of the posture if my life habits I'm underdoing also in my life, I'm not exercising enough well, I might get illnesses from being too lazy and then gaining too much weight and consuming foods that are not healthy for myself. So the nonviolence is, is really in multifaceted in all areas of our lives. So I invite you to be loving, gentle, sweet, compassionate towards yourselves. And I think that the rest will necessarily just fall into place. So rather than looking at nonviolence from an outside, you know, external, externally, um, to just start looking at uh, nonviolence from within yourself and uh, to, to discover where you're at with that. 
And each of us, uh, as we move through these yamas, you might notice that for some of you, some yamas are much harder than others, um, that you need to work on certain aspects of some yamas more than others. And that's all fine and good. That's one of the very uh, wonderful things that I love about these yama niyama. It's just an, an invitation really to look within and assess and check out uh, what's going on and um, on this journey to to discovering our our true nature and it's the foundation it is truly a foundation so and it's a work a lifetime's work really so we're going to see each other on the mat very soon i'm preparing this uh yoga class for you based on ahimsa and from now until then i'm sending much love your way compassion take care and namaste